Yo, what's up folks, Trip City here, and I don't normally mess with these different arena events, but this is something a little special. Historic, no ban list, is up on the client, and it is all access, you can use cards outside your collection, including, again, hey, that no ban list bit means that we can play with some pretty busted stuff. And so, I've not tested this yet, but I was like, hey, what can I put together? What do I think would be pretty sweet? And it maybe is a little aggressively fair. Uh, let's actually have a look here. So, this is a Simic deck. And we have a, a bit of all-stars of, like, bank cards here. We've got some Okos, Thief of Crowns, we've got some Uro. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We have our Time Warps, we have our Nexus of Fates, and we have our World of Rest Reclamation. So, like, our, our number and density of bank cards pretty high, pretty high. We're doing vaguely fair stuff, it could be argued. So, at one, we've got Fading Hope, just a little bit of creature interaction. Hey, we need to not get aggroed out. I don't know what the format looks like. I have no idea what we're actually going to run into. But hey, just a bit of a hedge. We then have uh, a la Alex Bertoncini, we have our two explores. Uh, Explore itself, and then also Ghost Spot, which obviously play at instant speed, which interacts nicely with Wilderness Reclamation. We have our three copies of Oko, Destroyer Formats. One blue green for Planeswalker comes in on four loyalty. Immediately goes up to six to make a food token, or to five to turn an artifact or creature into a three three no abilities. It's it's super broken, trust me, even if he doesn't read that way if you've not played the card before. And then minus five exchange control of target artifact or creature control with target creature and opponent controls of power three or less. All good, all good. Such a powerhouse. We're playing three because it's legendary and hey, we're wanting to smooth our deck a little bit. We also have a single copy of Uro. I did have more of these here, but you don't have a great way to get cards in your graveyard to escape with it. Uh, and so Hey, a lot of the time it's going to be a 3 mana explore gain 3 life. If you're not familiar, 1 green and blue, it is a 6-6, six, six, but when it enters the battlefield, it gets sacrificed unless it's escaped. When it enters the battlefield or attacked, you gain 3 life to draw a card. Pretty nice. And then you can put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Even better. Uh, and then it has that escape ability, similar to Croxa. Green, green, blue, blue, exile 5 of the cards from your graveyard, bring it back, and that way it doesn't get sacrificed. You get the 6-6, six, six, it immediately gets to trigger its ability, and you get to start attacking and triggering it some more. Awesome card, only 1 here because we're not really filling our graveyard up. Then, oh baby, Wilderness Reclamation. Uh, an amazing card, a card, again, it's not necessarily like screaming powerful, but it doubles the mana you have, and that's the amazing thing here. Three and a green for an enchantment at the beginning of your end step, untap all lands you control. Pretty nice. We're using these explorers to generate us more land drops, get ourselves ahead, make the Reclamation, untap, and then we have some pretty nice things to do at instant speed. And at five, we have Lorien Revealed. It plays a really important role here. We're playing 24 lands, so Lorien Revealed lets us kind of artificially increase that with these island cycling cards, that so we've always got lands for our explorers and growth spirals. Uh, on top of that, hey, it lets us have, like, still a reasonable number of spells. It's something you can cast later on. We're playing some like, acceleration. So, hey, if you already used your explorers and growth spirals, you can cast it, draw some cards. Uh, but that land cycling ability also lets you thin your deck and also puts cards in the graveyard for which is a nice, like, happens deck. Then we have another card that's banned in Historic, and that is Time Warp. Simply take an extra turn for five mana. Very efficient, very, very nice. And then we're not done yet with banned cards. We have four more banned Time Warp effects with four copies of a Nexus of Fate. Five blue blue, take an extra turn after this one. If it be put into a graveyard from the battlefield, it shuffles back into the library. And this is a card that really was banned alongside Wilderness Reclamation. Wilderness Reclamation lets you untap your lands. If you have Nexus of Fate, because it's an instant, you can use all that mana and just cast it straight away. All of a sudden, Nexus is calling it costing you effectively like four mana. Really, really cool. This is the interaction we're trying to really abuse here. Time was kind of help that out. And then we've got some different things to finish our opponent, whether that be Oko, whether that be Uro, or another card we're playing here in Shark Typhoon. It's six mana. Hey, again, we can kind of accelerate towards that a little bit. But with bonus Acclamation in particular, you can actually just cycle this and make a huge shock. And then once we're taking extra turns, uh, we can just kill our opponent with sharks, either by having a Shark Typhoon in play or by making some tokens. Or making some huge tokens and beating them down with them. And the last thing here, we have one more time walk effect for a total of nine. That is Aaron's Epiphany. Uh, it makes a buds, but costs seven mana. You can foretell it early if you have a chance to. And hey, then you cut it for six. Just another time walk effect I want to have so that when you're kind of doing the extra turns thing, you can keep going. That's the spells. The lands, we've got some interesting bits and pieces here. So we've got some utility stuff. We have a Castle Vantress. Obviously, with Border Reclamation, you get into untap your lands. Having stuff to do with them is pretty nice. All the Storm Giants is a win condition we can use once we're kind of like taking extra turns to beat our opponent's damage. We've got nothing else in play. Ottawa and Besaju, obviously great utility lands. I'm not sure what this format will be full of. And so maybe you want extra Besaju's at some point. You maybe play some on the board if this was like a real thing they were doing in Best of Three. And then some dual lands. So four Bark Channel Pathway, four Botanical Science, and four Breeding Pool. Uh, Adrian Root Cascade, and then some little tech here. Two copies of Temple of Mystery because it interacts really nice with Gross Bile and Explore. The great extra lands put into play. Let's you scry a little deeper. And also, hey, let's you early game. Just have an extra scry towards your Warner's Reclamation on turn one or turn 
three, and you don't have other stuff going on. All right, I have no idea how this is going to go, but let's hop into some matches. All right, into our first match here. Yeah, that's probably something I've missed. I was really close to playing Brainstorm, but I couldn't justify playing more like Lorien Reveal style effects to give us shuffles. Without the shuffles, it's just not that efficient. Uh, this hand is very clunky. We're like, long, we've got the Temple to scry a little bit. We're on the draw anyway. Mm. Maybe keep it because it's got like really high upside with Oko, Time Warp and stuff. And we have a Nexus. So we can sh we can cycle the Shark Typhoon if we get in trouble. Sort of thing. And the other thing I forgot to mention is that by like playing a game and getting a win here, you do get uh, a level on the battle pass um, for what that is worth. I don't really want another. We're gonna get a land up as Lorien is eventually. Let's go to the bottom. So where do you want to find like an explore effect? Yeah, that's ramping a bit. They level the drawing runes, so maybe they're on some similar similar shenanigans. We will see. This is the first thing I was like. I actually just really want to do like Nexus of Fate. Wilderness Reclamation stuff, let's try and do something broken with that. Oh, we might get Tibbot's Trickery. That can happen. Only th okay, that's what's happening. Okay. Yeah, what are they going to get? There is a Trickery. The, the, the... Yeah, well, that's pretty good for us. Cool. They're going to still cost up it. Excellent. Uh, but the Temple of the Trickery versus them be going... Uh, sorry, the Temple of Mystery versus them going triple trick out to the team. You know, we're doing different things. We're doing pretty different things. Alright, I'm going to pass here. Uh, maybe we're a little underpowered, but hey. Trickery is a... is a... is a inconsistent deck. I'll, I'll allow it. Mox Amber, do they have a second one? They ha they, do they have the second Trickery of Natural? They do. Um, yeah. Go on then. <laughs> okay, well that's the power of the format. We played Temple of Mystery into Botanical Sacks and our party conceded. Alright, well, hey. Nice. Next one. Okay, so so far we've only seen our opponent lose. We've not actually got to cast any spells yet, so... That'd be nice. That was funny. Hey. I'm not sure how many matches I played. Probably a few. Probably like five in total. Maybe counting or discounting that one. We've got Reclamation. I'm going to keep it. Fading Hope lets us interact with some early stuff. The Lorian Revealed is a little dead here because we've got a handful of lands. But we'll probably still cycle it. Just thin things out a little bit. A reasonable thing to do early. Or let's build into five. Maybe... Am I just going to play against Trickery decks? It's a Black Leaf Clips. It could easily just be another... Okay. Interesting. All we'll sank to my head. What we got? It's gonna be land trickery, isn't it? Okay. I'm. Yeah. You know, my first draft of this deck had some spell pierces. So they, so they get to DT. I like how the cards that they actually milled through were uh, Ugin, Blood Crypt, and Genesis Ultimatum. Either of those would have been fantastic, but no, no, no. Then you get to search here, so they get to go, they get to go find another trickery, I imagine. Annoying. Annoying. That actually maybe makes the stack... It's, just, I don't, it's already good, but like, Demonic 2 might make it obnoxiously consistent. Being able to like, grab another one. I'm just grabbing an island here. Us doing all like very fair normal things. This is, uh, I do you feel like what I'm doing is underpowered. Okay. Uh, second reclamation not fantastic. They're gonna have lands to find. I'm not gonna besiege them. That'd be funny though. Let's play the land we found. All right. Just in case we do want to besiege you something. So, so far they've shown Ugin Genesis Ultimatum. Yeah, so they did definitely demonic tutored for another Tibbox Trickery. See what they get off of this one. Uh, yeah, resolves. Okay. That looks good. Ooh. One with the multiverse. 
Do they have anything? Oh, you're kidding me. Bruh. That's annoying. I think we just have to do this. Alright, we'll destroy the one with the multiverse here. And then we'll bounce Unimog. This is the grand plan. Alright, we've been we've been scuppered a little bit, but this is a definitely a game of magic still. Somehow. We gotta land. Okay, right. Let's just get that out of here. Alright. We've got to kind of hope that they just draw dead for a little bit. If they have trickery... Okay, alright. Oh, that actually worked out very well. Go ahead and grow spiral. I'm, I'm just going to grow spiral now so we draw. Okay. Uh, yeah. Trapped. Okay, sure. If we draw land, we can slam all those reclamation. If not, we can do okay things. Um... Okay's got such a, so much higher upside. Yeah, let's make a food. <clears throat> if we find the land for a... Okay, cool. Oh, I just remember, like, how uh, to correctly put stops on my hands that I want to use the man on. Oh, dear. Alright. So... I'm going to scoop it up. That's... Oh, I just want to do our thing. They we, we basically, they basically went and ran through all the re resources. They only had two triple trickeries left in their deck. They need to kind of assemble things again after we've been seeing the lock. That looks ridiculous, but uh, we win the game? Alright, given everything, I actually want to play... I don't think that Ugaro does enough. Obviously, it's hard to say at this point. Our lands do feel higher, but we've just not drawn that many explorers and stuff. Maybe we cut Aelor and Revealed. Let's just like make some room and put these spell pierces back in that I was... I had in my initial list. My first draft had spell piercing, and like I ended up cutting it. There's so many cards to play. Yeah, my, the idea was like, if you want to play Brainstorm, you can play four, three copies of Lorien Revealed and then like some copies of the End. This lets you give you, gives you some shuffle effects so you can brainstorm and shuffle. Um, but it's a little too cute and there's just too many other good cards. You know, actually, just get this epiphany out of here. I'm just going to play a bunch of spell pierces. Because if, if we do run into some playing control, we can actually um, interact that way and force our stuff through as well. All right, cool. Right, see you in the next match. Okay, back in with some slight adjustments. Yeah, with the amount of table trickery you're seeing, us just sitting there with a the land in play is miserable. I'm adding some spell pieces so that we have a bit more interaction. Ooh. Okay, this is like actually how we drew it up. We have the Lorien revealed to find another land here. We've got the Grow Spiral on turn two, and that threatening a uh, turn three reclamation if we can hit another. Actually, one more land drop. Okay. Sounds good. I'm just gonna There is the like. Hey. It is like Tybalt trickery, like free week, isn't it? I guess. Not that it's free, just that it's like your chance to play some, possibly the most. It might actually be the most broken thing. I just. I thought this would be much sweeter, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna find the basic item. Please. There we go. They do have mana untapped, so I should wait on. What we're actually doing here. What's it going? Oh, they didn't get the end of turn the brainstorm. Interesting. Maybe they're doing similar things to us. I don't know if I want to just jam this uh, water strike. I mean, it next time we can spell pierce, so I think I'm going to just pass. Yeah, they do actually appear to be on the same things that we are. I would imagine they're playing some kind of Wilderness Reclamation next to Fate Nonsense pile as well. I wonder if they've done anything different with theirs. Kind of iterating on the fly here, which is kind of sweet, because I don't normally get to do this type of thing for a video. Normally I've like spent the time quote-unquote perfecting and tooting the deck before I, I record with it. Let's see then. Able Passage.
Uh, is there a cycle here? Maybe, actually. Just make a 1-1. One, one. Testing the waters a little bit. I also kind of low-key want to draw towards more interaction. So I definitely want the I definitely want the Besage for playing Reclamation. I think we can cast it. I think what what kind of spell? Pit? Okay, if I oh, get actual cast spell, um, yeah, that's rough. I I actually cut cast spells from my list. Um, and the reason why is to have more, be more threat dense. And we have to play more extra turn spells. You can maybe even like cut the time warp stuff. Cut down to like just Nexus of Fate. Play more on the like, I'm gonna play like a flash deck, but I really want to lean into the combo bits. Table Pass is another card you can play if you wanna do brainstorming things. Not as good. Okay, so they're all actually teamer. Interesting, interesting. This is a bone crusher, right? No, it's a lightning bolt. Yeah, that card's legal too, isn't it? Alright. I was looking at the ban list and was like, hmm. They just snap conceded into a spell pierce. What is happening? Uh, I guess no one's incentivized to play the games out. But hey, we, our, our next turn looks like time warp. Hope we draw something relevant in the top two cards. All right, well. Okay, our quest for our opponent to let us resolve spells before they concede is continuing. Let's see. All right, two lands. Got Lorient, Reclamation, Oka 1 3. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Has some extra turn spells. Um, okay. Might play this. Ooh. Some awkward timing stuff with this hand, to be honest. I want to scribe for. Okay, we definitely don't want that. I want to try and find a land. I want this card on top of my library to be a land. That would be ideal. And it'd really like to. It'd be ideal if it was an island, actually. Island on top, please. Planes we're finding. Okay, what are we up to here? Green, white, explore. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, this looks like maybe bad reclamation. Oh, actually, I don't get to do what we want to. Oh, this is a, this has gone a little ugly. Close our land sequence out here. Nothing is simple in this street. Uh, yeah, they explore again. They can now threaten to... Do they not have a land? Okay, they play a... Yeah, they get two land drops. And a growth spiral. Oh, jeez. And yeah, they are a little ahead on lands. We maybe get rolled. If I complain about opponents conceding, I can't concede, I don't think. I think that's morally ob objectionable. Um, yeah, they're my land. Ooh... A strong spell piece is really interesting. But I don't know what the next. Oh, we drew a land to play. That's fantastic. All right, cool. I want to have spell piece here because they can go land nexus. I just want spell piece it. That'd be all right. Or approach that. Um, if you cast this, this, carrying the first copy doesn't matter that much. But just shuffle back. Uh. I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna let this resolve. Okay, let's put a stop on my end set. Um, can I use this mana for anything? I actually do want to draw cards. I want to cycle this for uh, three. Alright, Sakura Cremation does let us start an exit 
We'll see how that goes. This resolves. Then whether they have more land drops actually really matters. Um, I'm gonna pierce this though. Our plan is to not let them get back to approach the second sun. Okay, so I want to go... Wilderness. I've got to make sure I've got to stop my end step. Attack for three. Alright, so blue, green. Resolve the first one. Next to fate. Uh, blue. Resolve. Untap my lands. Resolve. Let's... Castle Bantry, scry two. He's both on the bottom. Okay, we have time warp. Can't do that and... Just resolve this first. Oh, me, please. Uh, again. Oh no! Ah, uh, we don't get to use the thing. Aye, 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 aye. That is uh, what happens if you don't set a stop. Which is why this is really important. I set it too late. I didn't realize in time. They're going to pass, but they don't know that I've not got another time walk. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I can see. Right, we're at least doing things here. I should have got to scry twice for Casabantris there, which would have probably got us towards a time walk. We have seven left in the deck. It might have got us there. I get to see effectively five cards deeper. All right. Anyway, move on. Move on. All right. This is fun. Let's play a little bit more. Growth spiral, time warp. No third land. We want to draw. Keep this. So we want. I want to draw like one fading hope. Exactly. We've not, we've not actually had a creature uh, other than the Mog, actually. That time the Fading Hope was really good. <laughs> never mind, never mind. No, Fading Hope's great. Yeah, so once is really strong, but I didn't have space for it, basically. Wait, is Glimpse of, is, is Glimpse of Nature in the... Um... If it is, I'll have to do another video. <laughs> uh, okay, let's lead with the castle. Mm. Yeah, let's make sure we get to play our turn two spell. Up. I don't want a fading hope line or else. Really. All right, what do we got? Blue green. It could not even be elves, to be fair be any blue green ramp deck. Okay, yeah, that's a Gilded Goose. What else? Decided. That'd be the creed. And another Goose. Okay. Okay, that's a nice draw. Oh, you know, I don't know how... It's actually... Yeah, if you're playing them off of other cards, you don't get to choose which side you put them into play on. Then you don't get to Fading Hope here, which is annoying. But we have the opportunity for Wilderness Reclamation this time coming up. Pretty good. And they are so far just ramping. The of so, nice forests, mate. Ah, got him. Ah, okay. Yeah. What is the blue for? Yeah, okay, next of the fate's a pretty good payoff. Uh, I would have loved to bounce this, but uh, alas, here we are. What's it going to black to play on tap to? Ooh, that's not what we wanted to see. Do we have to do this? Okay, we get to play the land. Alright, let's like go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what they're ramming towards? And this is only giving them like plus one mana right now.
What is the fighting hype gun? On top of Garib it is. Cool. Alright. This is dangerous. Cool. Five. There's another Nissa. I will I'll happily bounce all the lands. Oh, Crassus. Uh. Yeah. Crash is a good thing to burn me. I do hate this mana base of this, like, but uh, hey. Alright, so now this land is supply our field tap right now. Um, another land. That does less time warp. Um. I don't think we're dead yet, we've got a little bit of time left. I think we can leave that on top. <laughs> this is ultimate minus eight. Okay, okay. Be alright, we'll be alright. I don't need to stop. The this I think I bounce an elf. Bounce a three three seems like Elf cuts off their actual mana sources, they're gonna play one of these. At the moment the botanical sentence ends the battle tap. This is slightly better. I wanna shut thing on the bottom. Yeah, we get to tap our lands. We get shot typing for three here. And then see what happens. I'm gonna set this up on my end step now, just so I don't forget. Okay. Cool. There is another question of them like drawing into stuff to right, to, to, to like, pay offs. But they can't make mana off the Gilded Geese right now. Fine. Do I want to trade? It sounds okay. Oh, we have to eat an elf though. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, that maybe actually has to trap with Nissa as well. I'll put all on my This just puts us down to four, though. Now let's try and let's see if we can time off our way out of this. Let's do the time warp. All right. That's the one. Oh, okay. Next to the like the best draw possible. Look at me. I don't think misdirection is legal either, but like it could be, right? This is six mana, though. Right now. This resolves. If we draw land, we get to go Shark Typhoon, untap next to it. Okay, let's make another, let's make a token. I don't want to gamble and drawing a land. They might have some interaction, okay, that, that is the land. Okay, Lorien revealed a solid. Um, the combat. Now the time warp resolved, so we're kind of like, hey, yeah. Seven. We're gonna collect some blocks here. There's another reason not to attack this, to be fair. Okay, we're gonna block both. Sure. Oh, make sure you got the stop. Make sure you have the stop on you. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Food.
Right, so then we got a cast lawyer intervened. Uh, blue, green. Let this one tap. Nexus. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything here. Alright. Stop on our end step. We'll play a land. Let's explore first. Before can't cast Oka. Okay. Scry here. See what's in our top two cards. Uh, oh, okay, this is looking a bit dire. How much gambling do we want to do? We have one Nexus to get. Uh, or three. We're just dead, aren't we? Yeah, we don't have a way to draw cards here. Ooh, okay. This is down to not having like a dig through time type of effect. I was very close to putting memory delusion, but then again, trying to cut it to try and just keep the numbers of other stuff high. Yeah, I opted to basically scry instead of casting OK. Should have probably cast OK. Yeah, this is dumb. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Didn't do that. We can't draw the card anyway. I have to cast it. Oh dear. Yeah, we died to animate here. Let's just scry and have a look. Never look, but also look on Arena. Yeah, we need to live for one more turn there. Yeah, if I play the Oko, we can live this turn. Alright. Okay, I'll play one more. One more for the road. Yeah, that one was a, that one was a bit of a skill issue. Honestly, I've not played with, Are with Reclamation Arena for quite a while. Got some particular quirks. Like, that turn there, that I had a sort of, like, set, set, set stuff my upkeep to, like, Castle Vantress before I draw for turn. But then also, I need to make sure I've got the stuff on my end step. And then, hey. uh, it's a skill issue, really. I, I messed that up, but... You can keep this. This looks pretty solid. We've got Oko into Reclamation. Dark Typhoon. Spell Pierce for out of game. Copper Line Gorge. Uh, okay. <laughs> Given this, I definitely want to hold this Spell Pierce up for the inevitable turn to... Okay, never mind. That's a rootbound crag. I take it all back. I'm sorry. Temple here. Get Scry in. Got our fourth land. We'll start working on finding another... Um, turn effect. Land. Oh, abs. I don't know what you're channeling, but no, no way. <laughs> I forgot that. I was looking at the ban list and was like, ah. Oh. I'll leave a copy of the ban list and I'll, I'll leave links to the ban list in the description as well. Uh, I think it's important. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna play on another channel because we can't really. Let's just make an OCO. Get some food. Eat, 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 eat. All right, let's see. I still this this is still unbelievable. They were like, yeah, this takes up to six mana, and it's a three mana plane. Six loyalty, and it's a three mana plane walker. He was fine, no problem. No problem at all. Oh, they had another channel. Oh dear. Okay, what are we channeling? This is just a new log. It is just a new log. Uh, we're not dead. We could. Again, survive Ulamog via uh, the power of Fading Hope. Yeah, this doesn't find it. 
We do kind of need to find it now, though, don't we? Let's just cycle this, see if we can get there. Okay, that's another reclamation, which isn't what we actually want. Um, I don't think there's a way we're not just dead to the Nidamog. I'm gonna cycle this. Just in case we lose out. Alright, how many fading hopes did we lose? Ooh, two fading hopes still on the deck. Okay, okay. Believe, believe in it. Believe in it. We need to draw it. It could also just have Bale Summer as well. Maybe this deck's sick. You can just like main deck some Bales. I don't know. I love the light of it, but uh, I think we're just dead. Uh, we gain. Oh, it does actually kill us because we'll always be able to gain life and live. Um. Yeah. Big sad. Okay, one more. One more for the red. Alright, okay. Last one. Last one, last one, last one, last one. Last game. Uh, explore, explore, grow spiral, what is reclamation. Alright. Sure, we'll keep it. If we just don't draw another land here, we feel horrible. But, hey. Yeah, I'm not going to do a proper, like, full-on, like, go deep dive and wrap up here. But let me know what you'd have done differently. There's a bunch of different broken things you do. What's, let me know, like, the most broken thing you found. And, uh, also, how you would improve this. Because at the minute it's a bit of a pile. You can maybe trim some stuff. To, uh, smooth things out. Make the deck a bit better. Okay, so, so far we've not drawn that land I was talking about. Maybe we should just make Oko here still. Blue black is interesting. Oh, nothing on. Yeah. I was like, maybe they're playing like Rose and this is like a fairy coming now. But no. Okay, that's the. Okay. Oh, this is a 3 3. I invite you to change your ways. They should like control. They could just be. This is this a fatal push? It's a heartless act. Okay, this is this is actually manic. Um, floor here. We'll put a land into play. All right, so this time we've got reclamation. I don't know if I just want to jam it into open mana though. Surely. Don't just go. We have shot typhoon, shot typhoon, gross spiral. A bunch of stuff to be doing. Hey, like, that is on 9, does it have an ultimate? Or is... Not really. Um... Would Spell Pierce an Ashiok? Okay. I mean, I'm here, aren't I? Atex Wars. Um. Make this a guy. Oh dear. I'm not that worried about the Ashiok, really. But, uh. Could be annoying. What are we thin? Why is the shot to me is not the fan deck? Alright, we jam reclamation. I I just okay, I didn't put the stop on time. But we now have one for my instep. Oh my gosh. Right, it's beginning of their upkeep, so this is fine. We're gonna have some chance we could we could just turn into a three three. Why am I worried? What am I worried about? We just make it a 3 3 with no abilities. Ahaha. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. That just sounds like a great plan. Um.
But now I'm gonna cycle this. <laughs> to draw a land. Okay. Uh, we have the shop sale instead. that. Spin this thing. I don't want to spread spiral. Let's. L cup for Xanathar. I'm sorry. I ignore the Ashiok. Okay, so the first one resolves. I'm gonna float some mana. Now the second one's resolve. Bring some more mana. I think I'm just gonna cycle a shot typhoon. Yeah. While we're here. And then we should be setting the stop before we do anything else. Uh fading hope to Xanthar. We're gonna make a food uh Let's cast Explore. Cool. Good. Ah, there's an Exodus Fate. This is the next Fate that I'm used to, but always free every time Exodus Fate. Alright, so these are set up. We'll attack the player. And all your kids. I imagine that we're not going to get to resolve more than one Exodus Fate here. Uh, this can resolve. We don't have anything to do with our lands here, do we? Uh, let's set this again. Yeah, we have them dead to the Hall of Storm Giants. There we go. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed some broken magic this week as well. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. That would be really appreciated. And uh, have a great day. Peace out.